Whether it be through terrible acting or poor judgement, cinema is littered with unintentionally annoying characters. Some people call me the space cowboy. Yeah. Many of the names in the following list are played by performers who would never again be seen on our screens, and that shows the degree to which a bad role can harm an actor's career. Because audiences don't forget, although sometimes they really, really wish they could. Yes, I know, she's meant to be annoying, but Veruca Salt, as played by Julie Dawn Cole in the original film, took the spoiled brat persona to excruciating new heights. Even as a kid I remember wishing she'd meet her demise as quickly as possible. I love gold! Goldmember is a character that might have been funny in a handful of scenes, but to add him as a main player in Mike Myers' film of the same name was completely unnecessary. He's not quite love guru levels of unfunny, but it certainly ain't far off. Went to be here. That's a keeper. This is the kind of damsel in distress role that Hollywood used to do a lot of, but after the strong, sassy Marion we saw in Raiders of the Lost Ark, it was disappointing to see Indy go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this ditzy blonde, who spends roughly 75% of Temple of Doom's running time screaming and making funny faces. The biggest trouble with her is the noise. A character that angered an entire army of female fans simply for the fact she couldn't choose between a creepy stalker and a roided-up teenage canine. Jake, stop! Bella, let him... Don't! The real reasons why Bella Swan was so annoying had more to do with her incessant lip biting and relentless brooding. Don't get me wrong, I love the buff, but the character of Mutt Williams is a major reason why the fourth installment in the Indiana Jones series is so heavily derided. From the moment this so-called greaser shows up, you just want to punch him in his smug face. Get on, Chris! Get and it's not until later you realise why Dr. Jones doesn't do just that. Marion Ravenwood is your mother. He's Mutt's dad, you see. Well, just because you said it, George Lucas, doesn't mean we have to accept it. John Travolta's had his fair share of career low points. The wickedly talented. But for the lowest of the low, you really can't get past Battlefield Earth. Do you want lunch? <laughs> The head-scratching performance won him a Worst Actor Razzie Award, one of eight awards the film would receive, along with Worst Film of the Decade. I do what I can! The spoiled granddaughter of Richard Hammond pretty much proves her uselessness in a mere five minutes of screen time, in which she A. Waves the light around, thus attracting the attention of a hungry T-Rex. B. Screams in terror at said T-Rex, thus attracting more attention. And C. Carelessly choke Alan while he attempts to save a life by rappelling down a wall in pouring rain and also dodge a car that's about to fall and kill them both. Ugh, <sighs> it's just inconsiderate. Fabian from Pop Fiction is yet another example of someone who puts the life of another character at risk due to a seemingly thoughtless action. In this case, it's leaving Butch's favourite possession in an apartment she knew full well would be monitored by one Marcellus Wallace, a powerful man prone to murder, whom Butch very recently pissed off. Did I mention Butch specifically reminded her not to forget said object? Bedside table, on the kangaroo! Are you an angel? It's hard deciding which iteration of Anakin Skywalker was worse. The whiny kid with no charisma who Qui-Gon seems to like for no apparent reason, or the whiny grown-up with zero charisma who Padme seems to like for no apparent reason. Please don't look at me like that. So bad was Jake Lloyd's experience with the role, his life's been in a tragic downward spiral ever since, and Hayden Christensen has largely been absent from the public eye until his recent appearance at Star Wars Celebration. What are your thoughts on sand? I don't like sand. Lisa called Jar Jar Binks. Lisa, your humble servant. That won't be necessary. Oh, but it is. It is demanded by the gods, it is. Despite 18 years having passed since the release of The Phantom Menace, Jar Jar Binks is still just as hated as ever. And it's not hard to see why, given Jar Jar was the one who gave Chancellor Palpatine the emergency powers he needed to effectively wipe out the Jedi and take control of the galaxy. To the Supreme Chancellor. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, Jar Jar isn't just the most annoying character in cinema history, he's also one of the most evil. 
That's it for this week's Top 10. To let us know what movie characters annoyed the hell out of you, hit us up in the comments below. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to So Is It Any Good.